everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I have this requested look. It is a glitter cut crease. It's pink and coral and peachy, really easy to wear. And it was kind of difficult because I did film this video once before and I didn't know how to use glitter, like actual glitter particles. So, I mean, now I have a well-rounded idea on how to teach you guys. And if you guys have mistakes with glitter, I am teaching you in this video how to fix it up. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Alright, so I have my face and my eyebrows on. I'm just going to go ahead and go into cream contouring. I got a request to show you guys how to cream contour. So I am using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in medium. I feel like I should get the light one, but I mean medium's all that they had. So I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to take the color cinnamon and nude. I put um, some argon oil into all these pans except for this one because I rarely use that one. But I'm going to take this and it's just going to easily slide onto my face now with the argon oil because before it was kind of dragging my skin and I hate that. So I'm just going to start off by carving my cheekbone. I don't like to drag it out too far. I like this to be more of like a, a natural type of a cream contour. And then this is an eyeshadow brush, but it's um, slanted. So I am just going to take that and just run it along the perimeters of my face. For cream contouring, I use brushes that I don't care that will get messed up. Just because I feel like I need to use the brushes that I don't or else I'll feel bad. You guys follow. <laughs> I don't normally bring it down my neck, but I do take the slanted brush and I really like it for the nose. So I'm taking the same shade and then you can bring it up here and then that's going to be the nose contour. And then after that, I take the color chocolate, and this is the darkest shade in here. And I still have the color cinnamon and nude on my brush, and I just don't want to go full on into the color chocolate since it is so dark. And then I just like to put this on the sides of my nose. So this is a whole new brush, this is just a regular eyeshadow brush, and the brushes that I'm using are BH Cosmetics, so they're really inexpensive. And then I'm going to be taking the color Cream and Banana, and these are going to be my two highlight shades. So this one, down the eyes, and then right when I hit here, I like to go straight down, because like I said, I like it when my nose is a little bit slimmer. Make it look like, oh no, I got rid of all the weight, all the pores, <laughs> something. Okay, and then this is just banana. Just the forehead, down the bridge of my nose, keep it slow, just a little bit here. Not too much, just so when I blend it all together, it's not like white, you know? I did use my beauty blender to apply my foundation and what I did was this was the only side of my beauty blender that I applied my foundation with so everything other than that is clean. So with the foundation side I'm going to go in into my contour and blend and you're just going to find that it's going to blend into the foundation a little bit more. It's not going to be like oh my gosh you have brown on your face. It's going to look like it was naturally built in. And then when you reach the cheek area, I like to go a little bit up, just so it looks lifted. And then when you're around the um, hairline, I like to push it back, just because, um, I don't know, your scalp is whiter than your face. So you just want to make sure that it doesn't look obvious that you're bronzing your face. So 
So now I'm going to flip the Beauty Blender to the clean side, and this is just going to blend the highlight. Okay, so I'm going to set my face, but um, before I do that, I'm just going to take my Airspun powder and this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in the color Illuminating Mineral Veil. So this is just going to give this a little bit less chalkiness. Ooh, sorry. What I do is I take this, I kind of just pour it in. It's kind of a lot, but I take this again, the actual product, put it in like this and just shake. And this is just going to shake the Airspun powder and the Mineral Veil together. And it just gives off this natural finish. You know how the Airspun powder is very matte. Um, it kind of just like gives it a little oomph so it doesn't look, you know, white. I have a cap full of product. And I usually take the side that I use to blend my highlight with. And I just take that, I dip it in, and I'm going to lightly bake. This is just going to um, catch any fallout because today I am going to be using glitter. So I want all the glitter to be caught. I'm just going to pat this in. I'm not going to let um, this part bake. I'm just going to pat it in so my chin under the contour. And since I get a little bit like shiny up here, I'm just going to set it real quick. And I found that with blending the powders in with the Beauty Blender, it lasts a lot longer and it looks a little bit more natural rather than using a brush. So that's why I kind of converted. I am a new person. <laughs> this has changed. Okay, so I filmed this tutorial already like once, so I didn't really like how it turned out. So I figured out a method to use glitter easily. So I'm just gonna start off by you know, putting a base down. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette and I'm taking the color Soft Peach and this is gonna go all over my eyes. I have no mirror. I'm gonna start off with my crease. So this is like more of like a exaggerated crease. So I'm gonna take the color Morocco, very light handed. And I'm just going to take that and you see how my crease is right here? I'm just going to take it like up here. And I'm just going to drag it out. And then push it up. All the color has to go up because we want the space to be clear. So what I also did was... I rounded out the end and then went like that. Okay, so you should have like this like egg shape right here. And you don't want to go all the way in with the crease color. This is just like, you know, um a base, a transition, and then now you want to take the color fudge right here, and this is going to be more of like a definer color. So wherever you put that Morocco and where like it should be more prominent, that's where you want to put fudge. Okay, so you should have this for now, we're gonna we're gonna blend everything later. I'm gonna take this color intense gaze, and this is gonna be a base for the pink. Then with the color pink champagne, this is gonna be the base for the glitter. Now that we have that, I'm going to take the glitter glue and glitter. This is the NYX glitter glue, and then this is the BH Cosmetics Glitter Collections Loose Glitter in the color Baby Pink. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit like that on my hand. Very tiny amount. And you want to get your glitter ready at this point. So this is what I like to do. I like to tip it into the cap. And I need a mirror in hand. So you kind of want to scoop the glitter 
pat it all over your eyes super quickly. I'm going to have a hard time talking through this. But after you have that, the side you put the glue adhesive on, that's where you want to pick up the glitter and you just want to pat it on. You want to like keep going. There's no thinking. You just got to go with it. I'm taking the color Soft Peach just a little bit. And this is just going to help all the colors diffuse. Okay, so this is the Tarte Blush in the color Epic. And it's very peachy, so I'm going to use this as to give my crease a little bit more of a peachiness and warmth. See? A little difference. Okay. So you kind of want to bring this on top of the browns. So this is just going to be all over your outer eye, outer V. I'm on a time crunch right now, so I'm really trying to like go pretty fast with this. I'm going to finish the upper lash line after I do my liner. So I'm going to take this Tarte Clay Paint Liner and a Sigma eyeliner brush. I'm going to take a little bit more of fudge. Okay, so what I did is that since I couldn't get it even, I just took a little bit of pink champagne and I just ran it along the top because I needed a crisp line. And then to pinken it up, I'm just taking intense gaze and just running it along the top. So it imitates as actual glitter, but it's more of like a um, iridescent. So now my eyes look even, thank you. I was having difficulties. And then just taking fudge, I am running that on my lower lash line. I'm taking the color Spoiled as an inner corner highlight. Going to line my lower lash line. I'm setting this with the color Noir, pitch black. I'm going to take my Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. I would rather have my foundation on first and then have glitter all over my face because it's easier to sweep off than actual shadows because they swipe off pigment. So, yeah. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Powder and I'm just going to try, I'm trying to finish up this little pan but I'm taking this and I'm just going to sweep away the bake as well as all the glitter on my face. Recently purchased this contour kit by e.l.f. I'm taking the two matte shades and I'm going to run this along the perimeter of my face. I actually really like this it's very blendable like everybody says so I mean I was kind of surprised because I didn't think that it would give me a lot of pigment because like in the pan you're kind of like meh you know but on me I'm like holy crap and then to give me a little bit more of a bronze I'm taking this color up here and then lightly going around my face with it I'm going to contour my nose with a lighter brown. I don't want to give my nose too much definition, but just something so I don't look noseless. I don't want to look like Voldemort. You guys know, Wet n Wild color icon, Rose Champagne. I think I want to invest in other colors um, in this line, but so far, like this color, it just speaks to me. It just talks to me. It tells me about its day. 
you know, gives me all the life problems and I'll just resolve them. You know, we are best friends, never breaking up. Okay, so taking Sunburst and Dripping in Gold, applying this to the high points of my face. This is the M510 brush, 501, M501. If you're a more of a fair complexion, then you should definitely try the glow kit in that gleam because it has more of a pinker undertone and the lighter you are or the fairer you get, um, the more of a pinker undertone you have. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Coco Lashes in Risqué and I never really talked about the style of these. They are very spaced out but very wispy, very full. When you have them on the eyes, they're just like, yes, yep. Oh, <laughs> I didn't grab it off my eye. The mirror in this thing is so crazy, so clear, way better than any of like my palettes that I have. I'm going to finish off my lips with Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. Totally forgot, on prom you totally need the Urban Decay setting spray. The all-nighter. Don't eat it, Jasmine. Don't eat the spray. Mm -mm. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As I'm doing this outro, I wanted to say that I could not do it when I actually filmed it because I was running late. And so this is actually the look after about eight nine hours so you can see that it held up pretty good i was sweating today so you guys can just see for yourself it, if it will hold up for prom and no glitter came off my eyes so that's good you know i was looking in the mirror so <laughs> i hope you guys found this tutorial really helpful and please request some other videos i think i'm gonna put out just a few more prom videos because I ha also have some other videos I want to do that's not prom related. So if you want to request any more videos then please let me know and I'll be sure to do them. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Peace out Girl Scouts!